now that everything's wired up and during the start of procedure, you want to prove to yourself that the various level vents are working. With your probe wires connected to the blue terminal points, with water in the basin of your cooling tower, you can then go ahead and drain the cooling tower slowly and watch your makeup and low level cards change state. The indication for changing state is a green LED light on the card, as you can see. Another way of doing it is, is you can remove the probe set from the stilling chamber, and typically that's really easy to do by just loosening the coupling. And if they used flexible electrical conduit, you can lift it out of the stilling chamber and then dangle the probes in a cup of water. So over here, that's exactly what I did. I have my reference probe, which is mandatory to be in the water at the lowest position because all the other probes communicate to the reference probe through the pathway of the water. So with the low alarm probe submerged in water, that's a normal condition. And you'll see on the low alarm card, the bottom LED light is lit. As I pull the probe out of the water, representing a low water condition, the light goes out, the relay changes state, and initiates an alarm back to the building management system. I'll put it back in the water. You can hear it click. You can see the relay change state. And you can also indicate what's going on by watching the light. Each card has a light. They all operate differently. And one of our slides will have a little chart showing you what lights are on under what water level conditions. Thank you for joining part two of the installation wiring startup and commissioning of the Marty LLC water level control panel. Part number three, we're going to talk about troubleshooting. This is Mark. Have a good day.